our first look at trig integrals. Let's start with the very basic trig integrals. Integrate sine, of course, we get negative cos. Integrate cos, we get sine. Integrate sec squared, we get tan. So we've seen all those. Tan's not one that uh, you find on the reference sheet or what have you. A reminder where it comes from, you think of tan as sine on cos. You then have derivative on function idea. So you get minus the log of cos or the log of sec, depending on whether you prefer negatives or positives. Again, just quote it, don't derive it unless they actually ask you to. The other one that comes in handy is this one. It used to be on the, uh, the old standard integral sheet because um, it was used very much in conics, this one. But uh, I don't think it's on the reference sheet anymore. But it's still a good one to know. So the integral of a sec tan is sec. Complementary ratios, here's the thing, once you know how to integrate a trig ratio, you know how to integrate its complement, because it's basically this. If you integrate a complementary trig ratio, then the answer should be the negative, the complement of the answer. What do I mean by that? Well, remember, we know cosine gives us sine. Now, the complementary ratio to cosine is sine. But when we integrate sine, we get negative cosine. So we get negative the complement of the answer. So cosec squared, well we know that when we integrate sec squared we get tan, so therefore when we integrate cosec squared we should get negative cot. Integrate cot, well when we integrate tan we get minus the log of cos, so therefore when we integrate cot the minus will now become plus because we get minus and the trig ratio changes to the complement so we get the log of sine. Cosec cot, well we know that sec tan goes to sec, therefore cosec cot will go to negative cosec. So just to highlight that again, there's tan. We know if I integrate tan, I get the log of sec. That was one of the answers. Well, cot is the complement of tan. So my answer will be minus, and the complement of sec is cosec. So we get minus the log of cosec. So I say, once you know the integral of a trig ratio, you immediately should be able to get the integral of the complement of that ratio. Squares of trig functions. Well, we've had a look at sine squared, there's our answer. And similar with cos squared, of course there is another way we could write that answer. Because sine 2x, remember, we can rewrite as 2 sine x cos x. So what I'm saying is this top one could be x on 2 minus a half sine x cos x. And the second one I could have written as x on 2 plus a half cos x sine x. Integral of sec squared, well that one went straight to tan, so that one was fine. And therefore cosec squared. Tan squared. Well, tan squared I can rewrite as sec squared minus 1. And when I integrate sec squared, I get tan and integrate the 1, I get x. That therefore means cot squared will end up minus cot x minus. Notice it's still minus x because it's only the trig that goes negative. So x wasn't part of the trig, it stays as negative x when we use that complementary ratio idea. Okay, let's do some examples. Cos squared, okay, one of our squared ones. So we'll use our double angle, we get a half of one plus cos six x. Integrate that, x on two plus a twelfth sine, six x. Uh-oh, you know what's coming now. Sine x cos two x, products to sum. Half sine, so thank you, sum plus half sine diff, which is negative x. I'm pretty sure I would have taken advantage of the odd function. So we get sine 3x minus sine x, integrating that, and there's our answer. Minus cos 3x on 6 plus cos x on 2. Sine x cos cubed, well this is one I want to set up as derivative times some function to the power. And uh, the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. So I've got the negative of what I would like. But now I've got negative sine x, I've got derivative times cos to the power, so I can just add one to the power over the power and I get cos to the power of four. You'll notice I've taken advantage of the idea of, hey, it's negative, the integral, so I just swapped the limits around and made it positive. Sub in zero, sub in pi on four, and we have our answer, three on 16. Okay, trig integrals.